welcome yogis to this power practice. We're gonna get a little bit of stretch, a little bit of strength and a whole lot of breath. So grab a block, maybe a strap if you need it, and I'll meet you on the mat. Enjoy. Welcome yogis. Let's start in child's pose onto our mat. So sitting back on the heels, the knees can be together or further apart if that makes you more comfortable. Stretching those fingers out nice and long. Settling down into the mat, into the practice. Just find that comfortable place, whether your hands are forward or reaching back towards your hips. Maybe even you're just making a pillow for the head here the day. Just start taking a few deep breaths. Don't change anything. We're just here to listen. Listen to what our body is telling us. Slowing and softening everything down. I just want you to remind yourself to take this hour for you. And it doesn't matter what this practice looks like. We're just here to find a little bit of breath, a little bit of space, just a little bit of time for ourselves, allowing ourselves to recenter and recharge the body. So practicing today without any judgment, just allowing yourself to feel the practice. And don't worry if you have any little wiggles through the balancing movements or if you need to take extra breaks. Every day is different in your body. And so your practice will be different. Let's just take two more deep breaths together. This time, fill the belly. Make the breath really big on the inhale and then exhale, open the mouth, let it go. One more time, just like that. Deep breath in. Let the breath go. If you need a little extra time here, feel free to stay until you feel a little bit more grounded, a little more calm, allowing yourself to really get into the practice today, allowing the mind to be soft. When you're ready, we'll make our way up into a nice all fours position. Hands stacked underneath the shoulders, spread the fingers really wide. Let's just warm up the wrists really quick here. So as you inhale, moving forward, shoulders over wrists. As you exhale, pulling back. Good. Each time you move a little bit more into the flexibility of the wrists, put a little bit more pressure into the hands as well. Last one, moving forward and back. And then let's circle round to the right two times. Inhale, moving towards the right, putting pressure in all four corners of the hands as you roll back through the left. One more time, inhale through the right. Exhale, circle back through the left. Good, this time hold center. We're gonna circle forward through the left. Same thing, moving forward, round towards the right. Again, more pressure through the hands, more flexibility, inhaling, and circle back. Good, find yourself back into that all fours. Stack your joints here, spread the fingers really wide. We're gonna step back into a nice plank pose or kneeling plank if that's more your speed today. Now, once you've stepped back, I want you to really push the ground away. Dome through the shoulders, hips squeeze forwards towards the elbows. You can probably repeat the cues after all the classes. Belly button tucks into the spine, squeeze the butt cheeks together and lift the kneecaps so all of your thighs are activated here. We're gonna take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. This time, inhale, deep breath in, lift the right leg. As you exhale, stay in plank, take that right knee to your right shoulder, squeeze, exhale. Good, inhale, set it back and down. Good, inhale again, left leg lifts. Exhale, crunch. Good, inhale it back and set it down. Take a deep breath in as you lift those hips up and back, find that downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet, 
readjust the hands if you need to spread the fingers wide remember the fingertips are squeezing into the mat and you're lifting out of the shoulders belly button pulls in as you make the lower back nice and long take a deep breath in Take a deep breath out. If you were pedaling things out or swinging the hips, come back to a little bit of stillness and we're gonna walk our feet in just a little bit. Make your downward dog just a little short. Right hand is gonna get light. That right hand is gonna reach for that left foot underneath you. Find a little bit of a twist here. Breathing in, if you're looking for a little bit of a danger, maybe you can come to the tippy toes of the right leg. Maybe you can start lifting that right leg, finding a balance here. Otherwise, you're just finding a stretch. Deep breath in, and when you're ready, release. Good, same thing, readjust that downward facing dog. And when you're ready, get light on the left fingertips. Left fingertips go under towards the right foot. Find a twist here. Maybe you're looking underneath that top right armpit pushing the right hand into the ground. Again, if you're looking for a little bit more action, maybe you're coming onto the left tippy toes. Maybe you're lifting that leg off the mat. Maybe you're finding that full balance. Deep breath in. And as you're ready, release back down. Take a deep breath in again. Look at your fingertips. Roll into your plank pose. Step your feet back to readjust that plank if you need to. Deep breath in. This time we're going to lift the right leg as we inhale. As we exhale, just step that right foot forward towards the right hand. Drop the left knee. Open out. Find a lizard lunge. It's early in the practice. Things are probably not quite as open as you normally are. So just take it gentle. We're just trying to open. I want you to gently rock the hips from side to side here. Breathing in and breathing out. One more rock back and forth. Just trying to open things up a little bit. And then we'll hold center. Place the right hand on the right thigh. Push that right thigh away as you lift and open through the chest. Good yogis, place that right hand down onto the mat. Just curl the left toes under and step the right foot back. Finding that plank one more time. Push the ground away, tailbone tucks under. Push, push, push when you're ready. Inhale, left leg lifts. As you exhale, crunch that knee in and step forward. Drop the right knee here. Lizard lunge, toes turn out 45 degrees. Sink down through the hips. Again, being kind to yourself. And we'll just find a few rocks back and forth with the hips. Rocking side to side. Each time maybe you're finding a little more depth in the pose. Finding a little bit more opening. Just being careful of that left knee, trying not to torque things. Keep that left foot flexed. And go one more to the right and to the left. And then when you're ready, hold center. This time the left hand is on the inner thigh of that left leg. Roll the chest open. Find a little more space. And then when you're ready, that left hand grounds. Step that left foot all the way back into your plank and lifting back up into that downward facing dog. All right, let's start moving here. When you're ready, inhale, look at your fingertips. We're going to take that sun salutation a just a little different though. So right leg is going to lift as you inhale, as you exhale, step that right foot forward, drop the left knee, find one breath and end Janiyasana. So lift through the spine, send the hips forward and down. As you exhale, plant the hands, step forward. Good. Inhale, halfway lift here. Exhale, fold, bend your knees if you need to. Inhale, push down through the feet, root to rise, reach. And as you exhale, hands to heart center. Elbows are out, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, everything lifts. Add a little bit of a back bend if you may. Exhale, fold, all the way down, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float back into your plank. 
and we'll take that chaturanga. So when you're ready, drop to your knees if you need to. Otherwise, shoulders shift forward, elbows bend back, squeeze them into the sideways as you exhale. Inhale, find your back bend, either a baby cobra or an up dog here. And as you exhale, right back into your downward facing dog. Moving on to the left hand side, take a deep breath in, look at your fingertips, lift the left leg. As you exhale, step that foot forward, right knee grounds. Inhale, lift, and Jenny Asana, spine lifts, hips move forward and down. Exhale, plant the hands, back foot steps forward, Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, root to rise, reach. Exhale, hands to heart center. <sighs> Inhale, lifting again, adding those back bends. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, step, jump, float, however you choose to get there, with or without knees, let's move forward, shoulders over wrists, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out, let's go again. Inhale, right leg lifts. As you exhale, step right foot forward, left knee grounds, inhale, lift. And Jenny Asana. Exhale, plant the hands, step forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, shoulders and spine. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, root to rise, reach and grow. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift, find your back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lifting halfway, flat back, spine is nice and long. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float right back. Find your chaturanga. Or if you're starting to get tired, move through cat-cow. Find a down dog, right? Any modification here, it's your vinyasa. Deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, good. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step that left foot forward, right knee grounds. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, hands plant, step forward. <sighs> Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, root to rise, reach. Exhale, hands to heart center. <sighs> Inhale, lift, find that back bend. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float. Find your vinyasa, a cat cow, find a rest, anything you choose here. Just make sure that you're breathing. Always with the breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Let's take two more like that. Deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out. One more time. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. Check that downward facing dog. Make sure that we don't have any lazy fingers here. So spread the fingers. Fingertips are squeezing into the mat. Shoulders are lifting and pushing the mat away. Let's move on to our next sequence. We're going to take that aerobic high lunge here just to get our heart rates up a little bit. Three on the right hand side. So stay on that right hand side. One deep breath in and one deep breath out. When you're ready, inhale, Look at your fingertips and take a deep breath out. <sighs> Inhale, you're going to step forward and lift into that high lunge. Reach, reach, reach. As you exhale, hands plant. Step right back into down dog. <sighs> Good. Inhale, look forward, step and lift. Exhale, down and back. One more time. Inhale, step forward and lift. This one, we're going to cactus the arms and revolve to the right side of your mat. Make sure you're squeezing the inner thighs together. Keep the breath moving. Inhale, everything lifts back. 
Exhale, plant the hands. Step back to plank. Take the chaturanga or anything else you choose here. Maybe you're feeling really strong today, starting to move through those one-legged chaturangas. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Take a deep breath out. <sighs> okay, three on the left-hand side. Deep breath in, look at your fingertips. Take a deep breath out. <sighs> Inhale, step forward, left foot, lift, high lunge. One deep breath in, exhale, hands plant. Step right back into your down dog, lift the hips. Inhale, step forward, lift, high lunge, deep breath in. Exhale, plant the hands, step right back. <sighs> Inhale, forward and lift. Stay here and a cactus the arms start revolving to the left side of your mat. Keep squeezing the inner thighs, trying not to drop the right hip. Keep twisting, pull that left hand back. Last breath, inhale, everything lifts. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back to plank or kneeling plank. Take that chaturanga, take a cat cow. Just meet us back in downward facing dog. Lifting the hips up and back. Let's take three breaths here. <laughs> deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out through the mouth. <sighs> deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out. <sighs> One more time. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. <sighs> Let's go for a second round we're gonna add on. So again, starting with the right foot. As you take a deep breath in, you're gonna step forward and lift, high lunge. Good, exhale, plant the hands, step back. <sighs> Inhale, forward and lift. Exhale, down and back. <sighs> Inhale, forward and lift. This time, cactus the arms revolve. <sighs> Good, inhale, everything lifts back to center. And we're gonna open out and find that warrior two here. So just sink down, it's the first time we've been here today. So making sure that front knee is stacked, you're pushing down through the back heel, shoulders away from the ears. Take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, sink the hips a little deeper. Good, when you're ready, we're gonna inhale, reach forward. Keep that front knee bent. As you exhale, now straighten the front leg, find your trikonasana. Lift the side waist up. Good, as you inhale again, everything lifts and you're gonna find a straight leg reverse warrior. Good, and then as you exhale, bending into the back left foot, find your skandasana. Good, when you're ready, cartwheel the hands back down to the mat. Step or float back into that chaturanga or anything else you choose here. Reminding yourself, if you're tired, it's okay to take a break. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. If you need to quick sneak a quick child's pose, do that. Deep breath out through the mouth. One more, deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out through the mouth. Here we go, left hand side, starting with those three high lunges. Inhale, step forward and lift. Exhale, down and back. Inhale, forward and lift. Exhale, down and back. Last one, inhale, forward and lift. Exhale, revolve, twist, cactus the arms, squeeze the inner thighs together, keep the right hip lifted. Left hip is pulling back. Good, inhale, everything lifts, and then open out, find your warrior two. <sighs> Just a few breaths here. Regain that slow, deep inhale and the slow, deep exhale, you're doing great. And then we're gonna start moving into that next flow sequence. So take a deep breath in as you exhale, sink the hips lower in that warrior two. Good, inhale, reach forward. And as you exhale, straighten the front leg, find your trikonasana, but your reach, you're lifting the side waist here. As you inhale, keep the front leg straight, but find your revolved warrior. Good, and as you exhale, 
back knee bends, hips move back, find your skandasana. Now, if skandasana is not comfortable for you, you're gonna stay up here in skater's lunge. Yeah, and then we're ready, we're gonna cartwheel those hands forward and step right back into plank. Again, taking that chaturanga, lots of chaturangas in this practice today. So don't feel bad if you're like, ah, I'm over it. Take that cat cow or any other option you choose. Don't hurt yourself, right? Protect those shoulders. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next little sequence. It's just the second half of the one that we just finished. So as you're ready, the inhale, right leg is gonna lift. As you exhale, you're gonna step that foot forward, open out warrior two right away. Sink the hips, exhale. <sighs> inhale, reaching forward. Exhale, find your trikonasana. <sighs> Inhale, lift and reverse. Exhale, sink down skandasana. <sighs> Let's go again, same thing, sequence. Inhale, everything lifts. Exhale, warrior two. <sighs> Inhale, reaching forward. Reach, find length, push through the back foot. Exhale, straighten the leg, find your trikonasana. Lifting through the side waist. Good. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, right back into that skandasana. Stay here. So if you're in skater's lunge and you're really high and you need a block to help support yourself, do that. If you're in skandasana, I would like to go a little bit further here. The, right elbow, the left elbow is going to plant inside the left knee. Right hand lifts. Find that little opening in the side waist. And of course, find your breath. Slow everything down. Last deep breath. And then again, spider crawl your hands back to the front of the mat. Step back into plank. And you choose here. Always meeting back in downward facing dog. So however you choose to meet me there, it's all right. Make it your own practice. Okay, here we go. Inhale, left leg lifts. As you exhale, step that foot forward, open out warrior two. Good, sink it down. Here we go, inhale, reach forward, keep that front knee right where it is. As you exhale, trikonasana. <sighs> inhale, reach and lift, reverse. Exhale, skandasana. One more time, everything lifts, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, trikonasana. Good, inhale, reverse. Really reaching up or reaching back. Exhale, skandasana, hips move back. Stay here, hold. Trying to sit up tall, trying to sit the hips low, trying to keep this heel on the floor. So I know this is really hard. I have a little bit of a lift here, so don't worry about it. Right elbow inside the right knee, left hand lifts. Find opening in the side waist. Twist and slow that breath down. Breathing in. Breathing out, last one, deep breath in. Good, when you're ready, hand goes back to the mat. Spider walk yourself back to the front. Step back to plank. Take that last chaturanga for a little bit anyway. Inhale, everything lifts, finding your back bend, shoulders back, chest moves forward. Exhale, right back in that downward facing dog. We're gonna take a little breather here. So you've got time, three deep breaths. You choose, stay in that downward facing dog or drop to your knees, take a quick child's pose. All right, here we go. Deep breath in through the nose, deep breath out through the mouth. Good, deep breath in. Clearing everything out, deep breath out. Just notice where you are right now, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Just take a few more breaths on your own here. Quiet and soft. Again, taking the space 
to notice what you're thinking about. If anything, hopefully you're not thinking about anything. You're just thinking about that next breath coming. Gently scan through the body. Notice how things might feel a little different. Notice the areas that are still tight. Notice the areas that are warm and open. Take one more breath on your own here. And when you're ready, we'll meet back in that downward facing dog. Lifting the hips nice and high, spread the fingers. Okay, so this next sequence is a balancing sequence. So if your balance is not there today and you have the wobbles, it's all right. Especially if you're practicing at home and you have a mat on top of carpet, it can be really hard sometimes to find that balance because there's a lot of squishiness going on underneath the foot. So just be kind to yourself today. All right, we're gonna take a deep breath and we're gonna look at our fingertips. Right leg is gonna lift, inhale. As you exhale, step that right foot forward. You're in a runner's lunge here. Back heel is popped. I want you to think about lengthening the crown of the head forward. Spine lengthens forward and then lower the hips down. Good, finding that stretch. Now keeping that right knee right underneath you. Don't let it flop open. Now from here, we're gonna move into high lunge. So everything should be in the right position. The only thing you need to do is slowly get light in the hands and lift the torso off that front knee. Reach forward and up. Good, now keep the legs right where they are. Reach the torso forward along with the hands. Find a 45 degree and then take the hands down and push the ceiling away with the palms of your hands. Good, inhale, lift everything back to center. Lifting back up to the ceiling, take it again. Exhale. <sighs> Stay here. Chest is really lengthening forward along with the crown of the head. Hands are gonna plant just a little bit in front of you or maybe on a block. All the weight shifts into that front right foot and you're growing light in the left leg. Find your standing splits here. Lift that left leg as high as you can. Chest is moving down towards the ankle. Now again, if you're looking for a little danger, maybe you're on the fingertips, maybe on one hand or both hands. Maybe the hands are starting to find a bind behind that standing leg. Again, be careful, especially if you're practicing on carpet. Last breath here. Now, if you're balancing, place those hands back onto the mat and start squaring up the hips. So that left hip wants to be the same height as the right hip. And then when you're ready, grow strong in the lower back. Lift the chest, airplane the arms out. We're in warrior three. Flex that back foot. You're shooting energy from that back foot. Lengthen the crown of the head forward. Last deep breath here. And now we're gonna open that left hip. Find your half moon. Again, blocks here are welcome. You can see I'm a little wobbly on this carpet. Rolling open the top hip and the top shoulder. Trying to get that shoulder the same height as the hip. Again, shooting energy out of the crown of the head and the back foot. Last breath here, and then we're gonna start lifting into that arabesque. Nice, yogis. Keep the hips open, reaching forward, reaching back, and then square up through the hips. That back foot is gonna pull knee into chest. Good. Flatten through the lower back, stand up tall. I know that right leg is talking to you. One more balancing position here. So square up the hips, bring both knees together. Left foot is in the back. You're gonna grab it with the left hand or strap. Moving into dancer's pose. Let's reach up today. Back foot pushes into the hand to create the back bend. Keep the hips square forward. Don't let them open. One more breath. And then when you're ready, you get some relief. All right, exhale. Back leg steps towards the standing leg. Inhale, chair pose. I didn't say a whole lot of relief, just a little relief. <laughs> Sit back in that chair, chest lifts. Reaching up or reaching forward, doesn't matter. One more deep breath, and then we're gonna find a twist. Hands to heart center. Good, left elbow, right knee. Find that twist. Top hand pushes in the bottom hand, lifts you off the knee and rotates you, and then make sure the left knee is staying behind the right knee. Don't let it scoot forward. 
last breath here. Really nice, yogis. And when you're ready, exhale, forward fold. Whew. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. As you exhale, plant the hands, step or float, take the chaturanga with or without knees, take a cat cow, find a child's pose, all meeting back in downward facing dog. Two breaths, just to reset here. Deep breath in through the nose, deep breath out. Good, one more, deep breath in, deep breath out, really nice. All right, when you're ready, inhale, left leg rises. As you exhale, step that left foot forward, runner's lunge. So lengthen the crown of the head forward, lengthen the back heel back, and then send the hips down. Spine is nice and long here. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Now readjust so that all you need to do is pick the torso off of that front knee, reaching up and you're in your high lunge now. Deep breath in, deep breath out. <sighs> Good, as you inhale, find that 45 degree. 45 degrees reaching forward. Keep pushing through the back toes and then hands come down, push the ceiling away. <sighs> Good, inhale, everything lifts. Do it one more time, exhale. Good, stay here, take the hands a little bit forward of that front foot, and then grow light in the back right leg. Find that standing split. Again, stay here, or find a little bit of a balance. Maybe a play between the both. But head is heavy here, let it be long and drop down to the floor. Take your chest as close to that standing leg as you can and work on inwardly rotating that back top foot. So a lot of times our toes are pointing out because we're opening the hip, trying to get that leg as high as we can. See if you can inwardly rotate so the toes are pointing down towards the mat. Last breath here. And then when you're ready, if you have the balance, hands plant. And then take the right hip the same height as the left hip. So you're probably gonna need to drop that right hip. Again, inwardly rotate that back foot. Grow strong in the lower back, lift through the chest, airplane the arms out, you're in warrior three. Lengthen through the crown of the head, lengthen through that back foot. Good, one more breath here. And then we're slowly gonna start opening. Open the hips, open the shoulders, find that half moon. Blocks here are very welcome. Keep opening, keep opening. Lengthen forward and back. So you're moving in three directions, right? Hand is reaching to the ceiling, crown is lifting forward, foot is moving back. You're finding lots of opening here. Okay, grow strong, grow strong in the side waist. Inhale, find that arabesque otherwise known as pizza pose in most of my classes. Good, squeeze that top hip. Last deep breath here. Some relief. Take the hip forward, knee into chest. Really nice yogis. Flatten through the lower back. Take a dig deep breath, lift through the chest, and then moving into dancer's pose. Knees come together. Right foot is behind you. Grab the right foot with the right hand. Making sure the hips are square here, chest is forward, left hand lifts. When you're ready, foot pushes into the hand. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, slow it all down, breathe out. One more, breathe in. And when you're ready, set the foot next to the standing foot. Exhale, lower down. <sighs> Inhale, chair pose. Chair pose. Sitting back, lifting through the chest. And then we'll find that twist. Hands to heart center, right elbow, left knee. Once you find the knee and the elbow come together, the top hand pushes in, right? Lifts you off and rotates and then scoot that right knee back. Think about pulling the right hip back. That will help the knee stay behind the left knee. Good, one more deep breath here. And then as you're ready, fall forward, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Well done, yogis. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float right back through that chaturanga or anything else. I've got a really nice stretch for you so we can catch our breath. So back and downward dog we go. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Clean it up. Deep breath out. <sighs> Good. When you're ready, we're going to find a nice seated position with our legs in front on the mat. So you can find that jump through if you're working on it. You can take your knees right behind your wrists and cross the ankles in the back. Or maybe you're just hopping forward and sitting back. <laughs> However you choose to get there, yogis. Here we go. So let's just soften our breath a little bit and find a little bit of stretch. Moving through fire log. So I'm just going to turn this way a little bit so you can see better. We're going to take the right foot down onto the mat first and keeping that right foot flexed. Left ankle stays flexed as well. And we're going to pull that left foot in and just rock it, cradle it like a baby, create some space here. Now there's a bunch of different modifications for fire log, but what you're looking to do is take that left ankle on top of the right knee. And we do it on to the top of the right knee so that our foot doesn't sickle. A lot of times if you put the foot on the knee, you'll find a sickling of the foot. So we want to keep that foot flexed. So on the knee, I've seen a lot of yoga teachers teach it with a block. So again, that foot stays nice and flexed. Uh, if you're not quite flexible enough to get there, then your foot can go on a block in front of you. Remember, there's different sides to your blocks, or you're just setting the foot onto the mat, however you choose. But wherever you are, we're going to make sure both sit bones are on the ground, lifting through the chest. Nice deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we're slowly going to start hinging at the waist, falling forward. So just walking the hands forward here. Keep lengthening through the lower back. Don't drop the head around the shoulders just yet. Keep lengthening, keep lengthening, lengthening. Deep breath in. And now as you exhale, roll everything down. <sighs> Good. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Find a little extra length of the lower back. And then exhale, roll down again. <sighs> Good. We're going to stay here for two more breaths. Breathing in, make sure that top left foot is flexed wherever it is. And then as you're ready, slowly coming up to center. Really nice yogis. So from here, we're going to move right to pigeon. So what that means is the top left foot is going to swing all the way behind you. And now your right foot is still in the front. You're going to kind of work your way up onto the back of that left thigh, top of the back left thigh, and then you're going to start sinking those hips down. So again, if you're not someone who's really flexible, here's where those blankets and pillows come real handy. Just tuck them right underneath the hip here. And you can use blocks to help lift you up, staying nice and high, or you can start moving down through the forearms, maybe even laying the chest onto the mat. But don't run into the trap of rolling onto that right hip. That is kind of cheating a little bit. So keep your hip lifted. You're on top of the back thigh. Right foot is flexed in the front, and we're just going to take another couple breaths here. Again, you can come out at any time if it's too intense. Last deep breath. And as you're ready, now rolling onto that right hip, both legs pull forward again. Good. Give the legs a little shake. And we'll start through that fire log on the next side, double pigeon. So this time, the left foot is down on the mat first. Right ankle. Grab it and just rock it. Trying to find a little mobility through that hip. And then when you're ready, either the ankle plants on the knee and square up through the shins and sit bones or taking the foot out in front onto a block. Again, wherever you are is perfect for today. Lifting through the chest and as you exhale, folding forward. Again, just think of it as a hinge at the waist, keeping the lower back lengthened chest is moving forward. Keep reaching with those hands. Last breath here. And then as you exhale, round down. 
good inhale lift halfway find a little extra length maybe it's just that little millimeter exhale full good two more deep breaths here keep that top foot flexed just enjoy the stretch and as you're ready slowly coming back up to center Good, again, moving through pigeon, this time the left-hand side. So the right foot swings all the way back behind you, keeping that left front foot flexed, and you're rolling onto the top of that back thigh. Again, pillows and blankets underneath the left hip. Use your blocks to lift yourself up or lowering yourself down. So because I didn't talk so much on this side, you'll have a little bit more breath, a little extra quiet time without me speaking here just making sure everything is slowly sinking down ask yourself what you can relax here you can certainly relax the neck and the head soften through the eyes relax that back foot we'll just take two more breaths mm. last deep breath And then as you're ready, slowly place the hands right underneath the shoulders. This time we're gonna take that left front foot and we're gonna step it right back, back into our downward facing dog. So from here, I got one more standing sequence for you. So just hang in there, take what you want and forget the rest. You can modify up or you can modify down, make it your own practice here. So when you're ready, we're gonna take four wild planks. Inhale, right leg is gonna lift and you're gonna bend the knee and open the hip. So square off through the shoulders. You're probably dumping a lot of the weight into the left hand. See if you can get it evenly through the left and the right. Both shoulders are even, so you're gonna need to drop that right shoulder down. Push the ground away as you lift the hips and lift that top right leg. Okay, here we go. Deep breath in through the nose as you exhale. Knee, the right knee is gonna come to the right elbow flying plank. There you go. Inhale, lifting up, lifting back. Open right where you came from. Exhale, wild plank, knee to elbow. <sighs> Good, one more, or two more, two more, sorry. Lifting up, exhale, crunch. Now you've got one more. Inhale, lifting up, lifting back. Good, crunch it in. <sighs> Hold here, deep breath in. Deep breath out, inhale, push the ground away a little more, and then step that right foot forward. We're in warrior two here. So take a moment to readjust the feet if you need to. Sink the hips down. Make sure you can see that big toe in the front and you're pushing down through that back heel. Side angle pose, Parshvakonasana, front elbow, front knee. Cut the horizon in half. Choose to stay here or find those binds, half bind, full bind. We're going to be here for a few breaths. Now, those of you full binding have the option to take that bird of paradise. Otherwise, just stay right where you are, enjoying those soft, soft, slow breaths. Those bird of paradisers are going to really take a deep breath and we're going to step that back foot forward. So both feet meet. All the weight shifts into that left foot as you slowly start to get light in the right foot. Make sure that you can stand tall, lift the, through the chest before you try to straighten that right leg. Deep breath in, deep breath out, and then we'll slowly release. No slingshots here. Everything is controlled. Right back into your bound Parshvakonasana and we release. Everyone's hands come back down to the mat. Pick up the back foot so you're in that runner's lunge again. Left hand grounds, right hand lifts. Revolved runner's lunge. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Make sure that front knee is still pulling in. Don't let it flop open to the side. Last breath. And then we're gonna take this front knee here and we're gonna step it back right into Vashistasana. So make sure the shoulder and the wrist are stacked. Push into the ground, shift onto that back foot. 
And there you have it, Vashistasana. Two deep breaths, inhale through the nose, exhale. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, top foot now steps behind you, turn it into a wild thing. Find your back bend, reaching back, we're reaching up here, doesn't matter. Lift through the hips, last deep breath, and then as you're ready, rolling back into plank. We'll find ourselves in plank. One last little push on this side. So squeeze the butt cheeks together, push the ground away. We're gonna drop right hip towards the right wrist. Inhale it right back to plank. Exhale left to left. Good, inhale, lift. One more round, right to right. Inhale, lift, use the side waist. Exhale to the left. Good, inhale, find your plank. Either lower down through that chaturanga or anything else. Meeting back in downward facing dog, as we always do. Just settle in. We'll take a few breaths here. If you need to sneak a quick child's pose before that next last side, choose to do that as well. Deep breath in through the nose. Slow it all down, deep breath out. Good, breathing in and breathing out. Here we go, four wild planks. You can take these from your knees if you're feeling a bit tired. So when you're ready, inhale, left leg lifts, bend the knee, open the hip. Again, remember the shoulders, remember the weight into the hands here. So readjust, make everything even. Deep breath in through the nose, and when you're ready, exhale, left to left, flying plank. Good, inhale, lifting up, open the hip. Exhale, knee to elbow. Good, inhale, lifting up, lifting back. Exhale. Last one here, lifting up, lifting back. Exhale, hold. Good, deep breath in, push the ground away. As you exhale, step forward. We're in warrior two. Whew. <sighs> Take a moment here, let the breath settle. Make sure your feet are nice and grounded. You can see that big toe in the front. Sinking the hips down, shoulders away from the ears. Here we go. R left elbow, left knee, cut the horizon in half. Find that side angle pose. Again, stay here, find the half bind or the full bind. Again, you don't have to move through bird of paradise if it's not your thing. Just stay here enjoying the shoulder opener, looking up towards the ceiling if your neck allows. Otherwise, everyone else is gonna take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, step that back foot forward. Readjust if you need to. All the weight shifts into the right foot. Left foot gets easy and light. And then we slowly lift and stand. Lift through the chest. Open through the shoulders. Find that lift first before you straighten the left. One deep breath in. Good, as you exhale, release slow. Trace your steps right back. Transitions are important here. And then when you're ready, both hands plant. Good, pop the back heel. Right hand grounds, left hand lifts finding that revolved runner's lunge. Deep breath in, deep breath out. I'm breathing hard, I know you certainly are. <laughs> deep breath in, deep breath out. Okay, push the right hand into the mat. Step the left foot back, Vashistasana. Two breaths here, lift through the side waist. Deep breath in, deep breath out. <sighs> One more, deep breath in. Good, when you're ready, the top foot steps behind you. Turn it into wild thing. Two more breaths. See if you can lift the hips. Maybe you're even coming to the tippy toes of the left foot. And as you're ready, rolling back into plank, reset, make sure everything's stacked. You have two rounds of hip drops. Push the ground away, we're starting from the left. Take a deep breath in as you exhale, left to left wrist. 
Good. Inhale back to center, right to right. Good. Inhale back to center, left to left. Inhale back to center, right to right. Good. Inhale back to center and just push back down, dog. Good. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And when you're ready, just come down to your knees. Oh, my goodness. Oh, walk the knees right behind the wrists. And we're slowly going to have a seat. So well done for all of that hard work. Let's just find a little bit of back bending here before we release for today. So again, if back bending's not your thing. Just find a nice child's pose and rest. Otherwise, the rest of us are going to move through a little camel pose and then start moving through reclined hero as well. So making sure that you have blocks handy here. I always start with blocks because my back is not the most flexible. Block between the heels. Lifting through the chest, the spine, everything reaches towards the ceiling. Now keeping this lifting action, you're just going to take the right hand to the block. And you're going to push the hips forward as you reach the left hand into the ceiling. And then everything lifts and we switch. Now, if this is enough for you, you're going to stay here, just moving right side, left side. If you want to go a little deeper and your back is feeling okay, you can either get rid of the block or keep the block there. But you're starting the same way. Everything lifts. Hips are pushing a little bit forward. And then you're reaching either for the heels or for the block. Chest is lifted. Push up. So we're not thinking about crunching into the lower spine. We're actually thinking about lifting through the chest, lifting the whole spine, pushing the hips forward to create the back bend. Take one more breath. And then as you're ready to come out, lift one hand to the ceiling and then allow it to pull you up and out of the pose. Really nice, guys. Sitting back on those heels. And then we'll find reclined hero. So depending on your knees, um, there's two ways to do this. If your knees are not really feeling it today, let's just keep it at that, you're going to sit onto your heels or you're going to place a block underneath your sit bones here. Keep the knees safe, right? And we want to just sit up tall. The rest of us who have knees that will allow, we're going to open the feet and we're going to sit our hips right in between those knees. Now from here, if you're feeling a stretch and want to stay, then you just stay here. That's totally fine. If you want to move a little deeper, the hands are going to start moving behind you. And then again, you're going to lift through the chest here. Lift through the chest as you slowly lower back, right, onto the forearms. Let's just stay on the forearms today. And then you're going to think about <clears throat> lifting through the chest, lifting through the hips. Maybe you're even lifting the hips up, finding a little bit of stretch through the shoulders as well. Now your head can be looking forward or up or back. It's up to you depending on your neck. We're just going to hold here for one more breath and then gently release the hips down if you had them raised and you're slowly going to walk the hands right back underneath you to lift the chest. And then we're going to fall forward. Find that quick child's pose. Really nice, guys. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more. Deep breath in. Allow the lower back to relax. Deep breath out. Good. When you're ready, we're going to have a seat. Legs to the front of the mat. Actually, let's take our left leg in, right leg out. And we're just going to maybe find a little bit of Janu Shashasana action here. Just one breath. So that left foot is inside the right thigh. You're going to lift through the chest. And as you exhale, forward fold. Try to reach for the toes if you can. Nose all the way down to the toes. And then when you're ready, inhale, everything lifts. Now keep the left leg right where it is. Bend the right knee. Now you're going to want to grab the underside of the foot. 
See if you can sit up tall, pull that knee into the chest here. Now you can choose to stay here if this is difficult for you. You can also grab a strap as well. If you can, maybe you can take your knee to the 90 degree mark. Again, you're pulling the foot and pulling the knee into the chest. Sit up nice and tall. You should find a nice stretch through the lower back. If you're looking to go a little further, keep going, straightening through the leg, sitting up nice and tall. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, one more here. And then you're gonna take that foot and set it right in front of the left shin. Good, we'll take a nice twist here. So as you inhale, everything lifts, no rounding in the lower back, and as you exhale, you're twisting towards the right. So again, the spine is nice and lifted, and I always like to use that left hand as a kickstand to really make sure that I'm sitting up tall. Now you can take this left hand and bind it up with the knee. Maybe you have the elbow to the knee bind, or maybe you're going under and around with the right hand. Doesn't quite matter. Just find your twist here, making sure the spine is tall. Fill the belly, fill the chest with air. And if you want to take it a little further, maybe you can grab that right foot again and find a straight leg twist. Good, when you're ready, set the leg down if you had it lifted, and we'll find the opposite side. So left leg is long, right leg is inside the left thigh. One breath in Janya Shirshasana, inhale, everything lifts, forward fold the hips, think of nose towards the toes, lower back is nice and long. Good, inhale, everything lifts, bend into the left knee, Grab the underside of the left foot. Pull that knee and the foot in. Maybe you're finding the 90 degree. Maybe you're finding the straight leg with the lifted chest. Breathing in and breathing out. Let's take one more breath in. And then we're planting the left foot sitting up nice and tall and finding a twist over to the left hand side of your mat. Again, that left shoulder is spinning round to the back of your mat. Maybe you're even looking over the left shoulder to the back of the mat, lifting up. Breathing in. And again, if you choose to add in the straight leg stretch, you can add that in as well, grabbing the left foot, but reminding yourself to sit up tall here. It's okay to have a little bend into the knee, right? Little micro bends are okay. Last deep breath. Good, when you're ready, everything lowers down. Both legs to the front of the mat, give them a nice little shake. And then when you're ready, we'll find one Navasana before we lower down. So straighten out through the toes, bend up the knees, sit up nice and tall, squeeze the knees together, no curvature in the lower back and find that balance. Now again, you can stay here or you can keep the hands underneath the knees if it's a little hard for you. Maybe you're straightening the legs. Let's just take three breaths, deep breath in, Deep breath out. Good, breathing in. Breathing out. Last one, deep breath in. And when you're ready, just gently lower those legs down to the mat. Ooh, I'm shaking. And lowering the top half down to the mat as well. Good, knees into the chest. Well done, everybody. And just rock from side to side here. Good, when you're ready, we will find that well-deserved Shavasana. So finding any position that you choose, or if you have any other further poses that you wanna take before the end of your class, whether it's an inversion or another back bend, maybe you're taking fish pose or happy baby, certainly those options are available to you as well. But otherwise, we're just going to soften down onto our mat, finding that comfortable position that only you know, right? You know it so well in your body that you can just start letting go. 
And as you get there, I just want you to walk your shoulder blades down your back. Just gently scan from head to toe, noticing how you feel here. And come back to that slow breath. The breath we started with at the beginning of class. The deep, gentle inhale and the deep, gentle exhale. Slowing everything down. Just take a few moments to breathe. Gently wiggling fingers and toes. Slowly coming back to your mat. Then when you're ready, knees into the chest. Hug them in tight. Either stay here and take a few breaths or roll to one side and take a few breaths. Take this time to say thank you for the last hour you've given to yourself. And when you're ready, we'll meet in an easy, comfortable seat of your choice. Sitting up nice and tall, just taking one breath together. Taking a deep breath in through the nose and as you exhale, open the mouth, let it go. Thank you for sharing this hour with me. Namaste.